explosions happen all the time. They're so fast you can't even see them. For example, after you eat, you have chemical energy in your body. Then it goes to mechanical energy if you go on to the lights, which you really do anything. Then it goes to electrical energy in the wires if you turn on the lights. And then it goes to light energy when it lights up the room. Energy and conversions, we had a problem. Our problem was we had to get heavy boxes of food down from a truck into a food pantry. We learned, we ha we learned about six different types of energy. They had to be either kinetic energy, which is energy in motion, or potential energy, which is stored energy. Six types of energy were thermal energy, electrical energy, light energy, nuclear energy, mechanical energy, and chemical energy. Since we have this problem, we have to have a solution. And, so, and the solution to, the, to our problem is our own thinking. Kids do Kids doing science get to create their own devices and test them out. We have an example right here with us. As you can see, we have the crates right here for moving from side to side. But, but to build things like this, like a bike or a pulley, we have to use the design process, which is ask, is explore, evaluate, model, and explain. In the ask part of this operation, we ask ourselves, what do we need for this device to have to transport the box, the crates of food? In evaluate, we learn what things we can actually use to build with and what things we can't. In model, of course, we build whatever we're going to build or what it tells us to build. In evaluate, we test out whatever we built and see if it works. In explain, we tell our class if our device worked or not or didn't work and show any ways that we could, could have improved it. So, since we're talking about energy conversions, I want to show you this flashlight. This flashlight has energy conversions inside of it when you flip the switch. Chem chemical energy from your body goes to mechanical energy when it goes into the battery. Inside the battery, it turns back into chemical energy and then goes up to the light bulb and turns it into light energy to turn the, the light switch on. Hi, my name is Diego and I'll be talking to you about one of the apps that we use and a generator. But first, the generator. The energies that I have to go into this power on the light is chemical energy, mechanical energy, chemical energy again, to electrical energy, to light energy to power on the switch. Which is which is forward red and backward green. And one of the apps that we use is Inventor Publisher. And this is how we would know how to get the pieces to build all this. It would usually say like maybe oh two by a two by twelve beam and then it would say like we need we would need two of them or something like that and then after we would do all the steps to them we would go to the final design to connect all the pieces together to make the final design which is a pulley, a bike or anything that we build. Hi, I'm Tana. I'm going to talk to you about a glow stick, how a glow stick can convert energy and an app that we use called Canvas. First, I'll talk to you about this, this glow stick. A glow stick has chemical energy when you have it right here, and then when you break it, you're using mechanical energy, and all the chemical energy gathers up and it makes light energy. <coughs> and then um, we have this app called Canvas, and when you get to Canvas, you <laughs> we have energy conversions, and energy conversions is the module that we're doing. So first we have to go to introduction, and that will tell us what we need to do. So well, the story is called he the heavy loading. So they have to find a way to get boxes off a food crate. So we need to, we, um, then we do, we go to introduction, well we, after we do introduction, we do 2.1 and 2.1. One, it tells us what to do. So first we would go to procedure, 
and procedure will tell us what we're going to do on this lesson. And then, so what we do that, we do our lesson and then we come back and we do conclusion questions. And conclusion questions tell, make sure we know what we're talking, what we learned, if we learned anything that day. So if we, so when we're done with conclusion questions, we, um, that's our end of the class, but um, <laughs> we also, on Canvas we have kit, kit contents. Then it shows us the, um, the kit pieces, like a one by four V right here. And then it shows us all these different types of kit um, pieces on our best kit. And then we have key terms. It, it's something that we may have learned in science, but we don't understand the meaning of it. So like an engineer, like we don't know what an engineer is. It's a person who is trained to use technology, mathematics, and science to solve problems. So that helps us out.